Thanks for joining us on the Martin with the WBZ News Update. Our top stories of fire in Cambridge has turned deadly. The fire chief says they found the victim's body after responding to the apartment building on Chester Street just before five this morning. A firefighter was taken from the scene on a stretcher, but we're told they're OK. About 30 to 40 people are displaced and the cause of the fire is under investigation. Cleanup is underway in Falmouth after a New Year's Day fire tore through businesses and apartments above on historic Main Street. Several people were hurt, including a firefighter. A building inspector will determine if the buildings are safe. Several people have been displaced and the cause of that fire is also under investigation. Major headaches this week for Green Line riders as new service disruptions take effect. Shutdowns start tomorrow and will last for most of the month along large parts of the line, including the Green Line extension, as workers fix problems with the tracks. That includes nighttime diversions to both Medford and Somerville. Riders are being encouraged to take advantage of shuttle buses, replacing service, or to take the Orange Line instead. Let's get a check of your next weather forecast now with meteorologist Jason Michael and uh, the sun will be with us for the start of the week, Jason. That's right, Liam. We're going to give it a green check mark as far as the forecast is concerned today. As far as uh, sky conditions, beautiful sunshine today, chilly wind chills out there right now, and they will likely stick around at least through about 9, 8 a.m., excuse me, 9, 10 a.m. this morning, and then we'll start to right the ship towards some warmer weather moving back in. Boston, I'm forecasting a 40 degree high temperature for you today. That is slightly warmer than the normal. Ample sunshine, lamb-like conditions to start out 2024. However, very slowly but surely, we're going to start to hear a line begin to roar, and that begins to happen late Saturday night heading into Sunday. In short order, enjoy the tranquility that we have as far as stable conditions outside today. We're going to stick with our west wind roughly about 5 to 10 miles per hour. A few clouds are going to be moving back in towards the end of the day for us on Wednesday and really start to pack in here. That is, again, that system that's going to be riding right along our periphery, eliciting some scattered snow showers. Again, very light in intensity, maybe a trace in some parts, maybe about a half into other parts, but again, it is not going to stick around. We'll clear things back out Thursday night into Friday and allow for more sunshine to move back in. Low 40s expected tomorrow. Let's look beyond that again. Stable tomorrow. Our next system arriving late Saturday into Sunday and by and large, it's likely going to be one of the highest significant snowfall events we've had in about a couple years or so. We still need to kind of fine tune where that rain snow line is going to be, but what we do know as of right now, there's going to be a mix of rain and snow in parts depending on where exactly you are. Plenty of moisture riding right along with the system as it crawls out of the southeast and moves north across the I-95 corridor. Heavy bands of snow are going to be likely moving through the parts of Appalachia. This is the line that I'm literally concerned about once we get into Saturday and into Sunday. Temperatures are going to be dropping. Snow showers are going to be packing on in, and that will carry us through beginning at 6 a.m. Widespread across eastern Mass, Cape the Islands, and that will take us through into the early afternoon. 1 p.m., the Pats game down at Gillette Stadium. Could be a very, very snowy one. Here's the next seven. 40s in the daytime, a little bit chilly waking up on Friday morning, staying in the 30s. But again, all our eyes are on that system on Sunday, Liam. Okay, Jason, thank you. I'm Liam Martin. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day, everybody.